Israel wants peace with its neighbors, with all its neighbors. We aren't going anywhere. The Middle East is our home, and we are here to stay. So we call on all the countries of the region to recognize that and to come to talk to us. We can speak to the CEO of Gulf State Analytics now, Giorgio Cafiero, who joins us live. Uh, good to have you with us. So let's start by uh, talking about the importance of this visit by Yair Lapid to the UAE. How deep do you see these ties going between uh, the two countries? I think the ties are deepening, and I think they're going to continue deepening. Um, you know, last month when there was the 11-day Gaza-Israel war, there was some speculation among a number of observers as to whether or not the UAE was maybe going to reconsider certain aspects of its relationship with Israel. Uh, these were considerations that people had at a time when uh, there was a lot of rage throughout the Arab world in response to Israel's conduct. But what we're seeing right now this month is that the UAE uh, is not going to reconsider its relationship with Israel or reconsider the Abraham Accords. I think the Emiratis want to double down on um, efforts to boost the uh, bilateral relationship. Concerns about possible blowback in the region these are not preventing the UAE from uh, trying to build on the Abraham Accords as, as much as possible. Obviously, we see with the new Israeli government uh, the idea that Israel should deepen ties with Gulf countries such as UAE was not just about Netanyahu. This is very much about Israeli foreign policy, regardless of which Israelis are at the helm. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a significant amount of uh, anger in the Arab world that while the UAE was hosting Yair Lapid, there were Palestinian businesses being demolished in Silwan. There is still this ongoing battle to evict Palestinian families from their homes in occupied East Jerusalem. Uh, is, there, is the UAE worried by the fact that this agreement and these dealings with Israel will undermine... Uh, it, the fight for the Palestinian cause? Let's be very frank. Uh, for many, many, many years, the Palestinian cause has not been a top priority for Abu Dhabi. Uh, yes, officials in the UAE would prefer for them to be able to deepen their ties with Israel without uh, the Palestinian issue being what they see as essentially a big headache. But at the end of the day, when we're talking about UAE interests in the region, this has to do with countering Iran. It also has to do with countering Turkey. And to a significant extent, these issues, which are Abu Dhabi's priorities, put the UAE and Israel in the same boat geopolitically. And this is something that people have known for a long time, years before the Abraham Accords were signed. The Emiratis and the Israelis had um, working relations. What's changed now is that it's more official. There's not really an effort to uh, keep it under the table. But once again, though, the, the struggle of the Palestinian people uh, is, is not the uh, main issue in Emirati foreign policy, and that is nothing new. So uh, we know that of the other Gulf countries, Bahrain is already on board. Uh, Yair Lapid making a clear invitation to other countries I in the region uh, to reach out to Israel. Do you think those other Gulf countries will share the sentiments of the UAE? I don't think so. And it's important to understand that each GCC member state has unique perspectives on the Palestinian cause, unique perspectives on this trend toward normalization. Um, and the four GCC states, which have not normalized relations with Israel, certainly possible they'll do it in the future, but I, I doubt it because I think they uh, think that the Arab Peace Initiative is worth standing by. And just to remind your viewers, this uh, Arab Peace Initiative uh, was the terms set out for normalization of relations with Israel, and it requires the Israelis to go back to the 1967 borders and let the Palestinians have a state with East Jerusalem as its capital. In Oman, 
Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar. There's still a lot of support, both in terms of officialdom within those governments and throughout those societies. There's still a lot of support for the Arab Peace Initiative and the position that Arab states should only normalize relations with Israel after there is a just and lasting resolution of the Palestinian issue with a Palestinian state being established. That's a position that these governments are standing by. And um, I think this is going to continue to be a divisive issue in the GCC with UAE and Bahrain in the Abraham Accords and the other four GCC states not joining. At least that's how I expect uh, this issue to unfold. Good to get your thoughts there, Giorgio. Thank you very much for that. Giorgio Caffiero there.